morning. It's Sunday, March 8th, and getting ready to put on some anhydrous, try to get some more done before the weather turns on us here. It's supposed to rain tonight, uh, at least half an inch, uh, I think was the last I saw. So, I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can. I won't get finished uh, pretty much for sure, but hopefully can get pretty close. Um, the first order of business is that I'm going to tear into the uh, ground-driven pump, which is right in there, uh, and see if I can figure out exactly what's going on with that. Um, it seemed like I was getting on about the right rate yesterday after I sort of adjusted the uh, the pump setting higher than it should be for the rate that I wanted to put on, but I'm a little bit uh, concerned that it may not be necessarily going on consistently at a range of speeds or that like it might be, you know, leaking more when it's turning faster. Um, so I kind of want to try to figure out what's going on with that or at least see what the condition looks like on some things inside there. Um, I've had it enough had it apart enough at this point that I think I can tear into it pretty quick and at least do some uh, sanity checks a little bit and make sure that there's nothing totally screwed up or at least see what I'm working with so that I can hopefully get parts and get it fixed right um, after the weather breaks. Um, so that's uh, where we're at right now. Uh, happy daylight savings time. Um, sun's coming up but it's actually almost 8 o'clock at this point I think. Um, but I guess that means I'll have a little bit uh, more daylight or uh, later time on the clock when the sun goes down this evening. Um, but uh, mostly just going to kind of check things out. Uh, when I winterized the pump last year, we winterized it with a mixture of diesel fuel and hydraulic oil like the uh, manual suggested. And I, like that's one uh, area of concern, I guess, that if there was some of that left in there that then got cold, um, that would cause the diesel fuel part at least to kind of gel up and turn waxy. So I'm gonna check screens and stuff to make sure there's no residue from that um, and then pop that pump apart and make sure that there's nothing like totally screwed up on the cylinder or the seals or the piston. Um, so we'll see what I find and go from there. Um, hopefully, regardless of what I uh, find with the pump, we'll be able to do something today. Um, but I have a few spare parts that, depending on if I find something wrong, I might be able to get it fixed and uh, be a little more certain that I'm getting on the rate that I want. All right, so I got the gasket or the seal out of the other side, which just fell on the ground here. But this is what it should look like. And those couple of little chunks are basically the one that was left. Now there might be a few more laying back here, I guess. But anyway. Uh, no bueno and the other thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that since that would be downstream of all the strainers that potentially like any chunks that came out of there would have gone through the distribution manifold back here so I'm probably gonna pop it apart again and make sure there's no chunks of rubber and stuff in there and maybe take an air hose and blow out that uh, one inch line that feeds that um, but I am optimistic that we can get seals replaced here in very short order and be back running. I guess one thing I was going to address, um, if you're wondering why I didn't do this yesterday when I realized that it wasn't putting on the rate that I thought, um, one of the things that is a real pain about this is getting it primed initially because you have, uh, like this whole cooler thing has to get full of liquid before you can get liquid to the pump in order to prime. The pump won't really pump the vapor effectively enough to suck out of the tank and meter. Um, so you, like the whole purpose of this is basically to make sure that you have liquid always coming to the pump and it does that by essentially uh, changing from liquid to vapor inside in a separate chamber so that you get the, the cooling of the, the gas expanding um, to condense any vapor in what's coming from the tank because you sometimes will get a mixture of liquid and vapor coming from the tank if you're going up and down hills or whatever. Um, so getting the thing bled, getting the thing primed is a real pain and getting the thing bled off is a real pain. So when I finished last night, I opened up all the bleeders and probably sat there for half an hour until it uh, was done actively bleeding liquid, uh, but it probably took another hour or two um, to get the vapor out. 
and you want to make sure that you have stuff bled off good so that you don't have you know danger of getting uh, you know super cold liquid on your hand and getting you know freeze burns uh, on your skin taking things apart and uh, also you know the inhalation hazard or whatever so uh, I you know sort of let it sit with all the bleeders open overnight and I still smelled a little bit of ammonia in a couple spots taking the pump apart but I haven't seen any liquid yet um, but basically that's why I ran based on the experimental rate yesterday because um, it was going to take a couple hours to get to a point that I could actually check things out and I would rather not have had to reprime this from scratch again um, but it looks like that's what's going to happen. Got the pump all back together and everything looks good I think. Um, there wasn't any chunks of pieces of the seal or anything in the uh, dist dist manifold, distribution manifold. Um, so I think that we're all in good shape there and I don't think anything too catastrophic happened yesterday. Um, I mean, I guess like part of the reason that I ran it the way it was, there are things that you can sort of pay attention to to have some confidence that things are going on as you want. So like um, if your tubes are all frosting up and the input to the cooler part of the uh, condenser thing uh, is all frosting up, that means you have flow there. Um, so I didn't think that I had a plug knife or anything like that, but always good to double check. So I'm hoping that those seals fix things. Um, probably what was happening, there was like a plastic or like a polyurethane kind of ring in the middle that's just kind of a backer ring and probably that was all that was sealing so it wasn't as good of a seal against the piston as it would normally be and you would get some um, bypass from one side of the cylinder to the other but hopefully that was halfway consistent um, and got on close to what I wanted anyway. Um, I was going to show you the treasure that we caught yesterday. Um, so it's always amazing how much crap you can find in the fields um, just pulling a quarter inch wide knife through the dirt. Um, so we got a ring off a horse collar. I think maybe this is like off of an old wooden wagon wheel um, and then every piece of wire that you can imagine. Um, so have to stop every once in a while, especially in areas that we know like used to be farmstead or where there were fence lines and stuff and uh, kind of dig the stuff off the knives and make sure there's no wire in there because um, they do pull harder when there's a bunch of crap on the on the knife. Um, I'm probably gonna clean them again before I start here today because there's a couple of them that have pretty big chunks of dirt um, but caught well I think this actually was on the same knife I'm not 100% sure but probably should buy a lottery ticket. We're in the field and got the bar primed. Uh, it primed way easier this time so maybe having good seals in there had something to do with that. Um, I just went ahead and uh, adjusted it back to the correct setting on the pump. So my hope is that uh, I should see a similar pressure uh, on my gauge down here, there, uh, as I was seeing yesterday, because um, I was putting on about the right rate. So um, hopefully I'll see a similar back pressure. Like basically it just measures the pressure or the restriction, pressure between the manifold and the pump. Um, so at a similar uh, speed, as I was running yesterday, I should hopefully see a similar pressure there, and that should mean I'm putting on a similar rate, even though I changed the pump setting. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I'm optimistic at this point.